play too, because look at the CS that Chovy is losing in mid, as that wave is just under turret range, and I don't oh think you're boy. getting the pick here. Here we go, they're gonna get the teleport down on the bottom side, but this time it's looking a little bit more dangerous for Hobble Life, as Shoto's leading the charge, but the damage is actually coming out from Deft as another teleport comes in, though, as the flash is good from Gigo, he's gonna Double be stun. able to get both of them with the Counter-Strike, as now, with the follow-up, Deft has no... ...end of the day, but this is such a great macro play. The, the trade-off, though, oh is the CS. Morgan is able to buffer it, but it doesn't matter when there's three of them in the top lane. Morgan is trying to survive. They're going to force a flash as we got action in the mid lane as well. Toby trying to tank it up, and the damage is there, but Willer gets traded on. Griftar had mid to push Toby out of lane. You could see that uh, Teton is actually just going to hover mid for a little while himself to pick up some of the slack there. He's also putting himself behind in CS, but the kills are coming through as Morgan is collapsed on twice in this game. Oh, Ignite, he's looking for it, the kill on the Gigo, and he's gonna... Getting this is pretty nice, as now we have the Destiny here on this one, but Jovi is right in front, trying to stop this, trying to knock Aegis away, and it will be enough as they do get the eye, as in comes Aegis, trying to look for a little bit more. Morgan is going to be frontlining, here comes Willer, that wall does absolutely nothing. But it is going to buy some time for him to get in position. Yellow card comes in, but now look at Toby and Vista going wild. Vista picks up the double kill somehow. Who was there? He's like, yeah, yeah, that was whatever. That's two thirds of your health bar. We're gonna have to regen that up. Ooh, shot is going to miss. We're still gonna drop this Rift Arrow though. As it does come down, and here comes the Destiny, but he goes so low, he doesn't have his ultimate. Oh, he's not going to be able to survive there. As you see, Aegis now trying to survive. They're trying to get this damage on a Morgan, and they finally do, but... Man, the red cannon solo laners are just not... Chovy has a free lane. Yeah, Chovy has a free lane. He's already ahead in CS. He's just trying to craft waves in. Here comes an engage from Vista. Okay, they're going to try to make this happen. That's a lot of damage on a Jojo. Look at this support go, Vista! There are no brakes on this train, as he will finally go down. That's why you should probably put brakes on the train. Um, here's a teleport that's coming on in. Grepthar getting jumped on, not able to survive against the Kaisa, as now Morgan's getting into the buck. Gonna miss on that one, but it's fine, because I suppose Depp just gonna flash the wall and look for the kill on a Titan and take him down. And, and even life, honestly, but he has grown up so much this season. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Morgan! <laughs> just to add to the little bit of BS. Teleport comes through, but like it doesn't matter. It's more oh fighting in. Here we go. They tried to get on to Vista. By the way, he has stopwatch, guys. Called it out before. Now Toby's going into four, though, as he is somehow going to survive and try to turn it around with that Everfrost. Not quite the cleanest fight we've ever seen, as Red uh, are trying to get on in there. Now Dev trying to 1v1. Not sure about this, buddy. Maybe a little extra attack speed to, you know, push Morgan out of the lane. So even though Chovy's in the top side, he doesn't have teleport yet. It's like, okay, just came up right now. There he comes. So here they go. As the Weaver's Wall will come in, but the Shintown turnaround is huge. As the damage from the MF does basically nothing, but they kite it back. And Red Cannons have the damage here. The attacks in the front line now going extremely deep, but you have the follow-up from Jojo as well as Grepthar. A super close fight as so many low health bars on the side of Humble Life and Red Cannons are just looking to chase them down. Not going to get any uh, for now, just trying to keep vision around this Baron. Unfortunately, the scan is going to miss the ward behind that wall as they're trying to get on top of Vista here. He's just going to try to flash and uh, doesn't have his aftershock. Finally, he does, and that will be enough to keep him alive as now Chovy and Morgan get a massive flank teleport behind the entire team as Aegis is a little bit too low and even the MF gets hunted down by Morgan and that fast and furiously. And as you mentioned, I mean, Infernal Drake on any of these champions is going to be huge as trying to get the root here. Chovy is going to miss literally everything, but he has another stun, as that will be enough to get down Grepthar. Willer says, so oh, close in a lot of these scenarios. I mean, you can see how great Grepthar is dodging these skill shots, dodging these stuns, but he can't pull it off. Is okay, here trying we go. to get that back line. Jojo gets a huge ultimate, but look at Chovy just rip through the entire front line with that stolen bullet time, and that is going to be enough to put the nail in the coffin. Humble life. Esports will be winning this game as they take down the enemy jungler. How about like Esports will end up in this group of the play-in stage at 3-1 and one after they take down the Red Cannons right here. They firmly put themselves in pole position for that second place spot.
second highest seed you can get going into that final match to put yourself in the group stage. Auto Life, bit of a rocky start against LNG, their Infinity Esports game.